Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Judith Priest. Calling this deck Judith Priest because that's just a nice, funny name for the deck. But we it kind of describes our two best cards in the deck and what the, the deck is built around. We have Judith, the Scourge Diva, is uh, one, one half of the uh deck naming i guess that's our judith part and then we have priest of the forgotten gods oh not the i always say the forgotten gods but it's not it's just any forgotten gods it's priest of just whatever gods you have forgotten that is the the priest for them but basically what we're trying to do here is we have an aggressively slanted deck that can grind down the opponents as well we have we have like the war boss and the Judith are our cards that are helping push damage out quickly with with the help of our one and two drops, where then we also have priest and midnight reaper which help give us card advantage for a late game. So overall, that's that means that we're going to be a uh, an aggressive deck that's pretty good against removal heavy decks and um, slower decks like that. The, the decks that we're going to struggle with the most are going to be the hyper-aggressive decks, especially Mono White and Mono Red, because they're just going to be a lot faster than us, and we don't have a whole lot of defense in our deck. So those are going to be the matchups we're going to struggle with the most. Uh, besides those cards, we just have um, a couple of very good Mythics at our top end, and we have a whole lot more Angraths against Control, last few times we've played this deck we've just kind of been it's just like every time we play against control it's always just us having our five mana and just being like is this an angrath hopefully angrath can we draw angrath can we draw angrath all that kind of stuff and i just want all of the angraths then so we got all four of them i would much rather have angrath and not draw five lands than have a lot of lands and not have angrath kind of thing Control decks usually take a while to kill you. I We haven't had too much trouble hitting land drops against control uh, with the games going longer. And so just want to have all of the Angraths possible. Especially like Midnight Reaper helps you draw some more cards as well. We also have Experimental Frenzies. This is a new addition for the control matchup as well. Um, and also I'm going to be bringing this in against Mono Red because how it usually works against Mono Red is they have a whole lot of burn spells that kill our creatures. And then they play like... They just kind of like win the War of Attrition also, and so Frenzy can help us with that War of Attrition, help turn it back over to our side. And we got some removal, some discard, and that is our deck. Let's get a Duress in here. Let's get these Duresses. So here we go. Judith Priest. Ah, I just feel like I have like, something in my throat. Sorry, y'all. Hey, Baloney Pony. <clears throat> Glad you're here. Sorry you had to work during the 12 hour stream, but. <clears throat> we got some fun decks for today, too. Alright, we're going full on Rakdos, of course. Our Rakdos sleeve, our Rakdos avatar. Hey QQ, good evening. Yes, Angrath is better than the Immortal Sun. Yes. <clears throat> Angrath gives the deck reach. Um, you know, cost cost mana less and everything, and yeah, it's gonna be better there. All right, unfortunately, nothing to do this turn. Didn't find a two drop in our first two draws. Yeah, I could have just yeah, I should have just played the swamp. I could have saved two life. I was just kind of already in the motion of playing the blood crypt whenever I drew the card. I didn't reassess the card drawn. Ahem. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> oh, it's struggling with their lands over there. This is going to be a matchup where we're going to have to be worried about Fiery Cannonade. Especially, you know, mostly post board. Likely. But Fiery Cannonade is going to be a big problem. I kind of feel like our opponent's playing Teamer Reclamation. Even though this could just be like an, an is it control kind of thing. I don't think this is Drake's with Expansion Explosion. Syncopate. Yeah, I think this is Teamer Reclamation. And our opponent is... <clears throat> yeah, they were debating whether or not to show any more of their deck. So we're getting all the Angrass in here. Um, all the Duresses. Lava Coil out. Priest out. I think I trimmed Judith over War Boss, but I'm not sold on that. I want to trim one of my threes, that they how they all die to Cannonade and die to Shock and stuff. I want to keep Reaper in. No, I like Phoenix, because Phoenix doesn't just die to the easy, the removal spells very quickly. I'm just not sure if I want to cut like a War Boss or a Judith. Yeah, Enforcer is really not that good either. Just gives me another token though. I just can't I just can't have all threes. You know, I need something to play on turn two. I know I know neither of these cards are that great. <clears throat> Enforcer can, you know, attack in th through like a Niv Mizzet fairly or uh, freely. They do have a sweeper like a cannonade. It leaves another body behind. All right, let's start with the gutter bones. All right, it is teamer reclamation, so I thought. Fireblade artist. I don't love Fireblade Artist as a card. Fireblade Artist, you know, if you're just looking at this specific matchup, it's going to be better than the two drops we're playing. But for the most part with the deck, and especially with Priests of the Forgotten Gods, uh, Fireblade Artist is not as good as the cards that we have, as the two drops we have. But yes, this specific matchup... against decks with no creatures, basically, then the 2-2 two -two is going to be better.
All right, well, we've had a had a really great curve here. Let's see how we can do. Hmm. Never seen water burn. So I can just steal the, the Phoenix will. and try to hit them for lethal. But then if they have like a fog effect, if they have like a fog and then they get to go back and attack Angrath, that's like a, a problem. No fire, no steel. So instead I, I'm going to... Then I'm gonna just tick up. And just have this Angrath try to finish off the rest of the game. Yeah, I know a lot of a lot of team reclamation players don't play fog, but some of them do. I certainly play against some team reclamation players that do play fogs, so I don't want to just assume that they don't have it um, when when I can believe I can win even if they do have it or don't have it by just ticking up with Angrath. This is a difficult hand. We're on the draw. It's kind of hard mulliganing this. It's not spectacular, but Phoenix is just so good. You know, like, we basically have two draws to see if we have something else on turn two, and then three draws to see if we draw one of our 12 three drops. Yeah, so we've got a nice good curve here. Sometimes you just got to believe in your deck. Give your, give your deck a chance to draw some spells. Basically, I just wanted to draw, a th like, drawing any three drop, that curve's really not that bad, of like having Firebrand on one, a three drop on three, and then Phoenix on four. And we have 12 three drops in the deck, and we have three draws towards that. It's not like, you know, guaranteed or anything, but pretty good chances that we find something there. So Priest is my better card to untap with. So I think I'm going to just go Priest. Even though it doesn't use my mana as well. Which is much stronger. So I should just play the Blood Crypt. I was kind of still debating between that. The biggest thing is, like, if we play Phoenix and they go uh, Hostage Taker on Phoenix, it's kind of a problem for us. We're Hostage Taker on Priest. Eh. It's not as bad. Go, Gobos, go! Keep hitting our opponent for three each turn. Yeah, that's the other thing. If we mulligan that seven and, and our six just has, like, one land or no lands, you know, like, it's certainly a risk mulliganing. It's not like if we take mulligan six, we're just going to have a better curve.
That was not a good card for us to see. Densim, that's your fault. And DJ Poly B, your fault too. Y'all can't say finality incoming. You're not supposed to say the opponent's going to have the best card they could possibly have. Because then they have it. Y'all should know better than that. Okay, uh... <clears throat> Priest can still win this game for us if we find some more creatures for it. This would have certainly been a better time to draw the Goblin Instigator to go with the Priest than the Orzhov Enforcer. Or maybe we'll draw the Angrath that we always want to draw Angrath. This would be a good time for it. Yeah, Menagerie would be really good here, but, I mean, so would Angrath. I mean, that's, you know, we have, like, the five mana card where we have Angrath instead of Menagerie. They'd both be good here, though. Either of the five mana cards. But it looks like we're dead. Now with the Krasis. We got close. Got close. A little too many lands. Alright, let's get these Ritual of Sets in here. More Coils. If I'm playing more Coils, more Ritual of Soot, more Angrath. I don't, I, I, mean, I, I don't know if we're playing all four Angrath or anything. Just kind of looking at this. Don't we want... War Boss is... This is not really a matchup for War Boss in general. Like, it's hard to get through all their creatures. And then, as we saw, they have the finality there. The best thing Warboss does, though, <clears throat> is does supply fuel for Priest. No, I'm not playing Duress. Cast down instead of coil. So I could do that. Let's play three Angrath. Three Judith. Hmm. No, Gutter Bones is really good. I'm just going three Judith. Cast down is good against Hostage Taker being instant speed as well. <clears throat> Man, Gladstoney, this is your fault. Why do y'all have to just like keep on saying like Terrible scenarios for me. <laughs> Gladstone says we're gonna we're gonna get stuck with two phoenixes in hand and no lands. <laughs> Y'all are killing me. Gosh. Y'all need to think more positively. Why is everybody so negative today? Maybe saying, like, this is going to work out, we're going to draw land.
If I didn't have Reaper in this hand, I'd probably be mulliganing, but I like the I like the Reaper. It's like the one thing of like draw land. Be able to have Reaper. With the Wow Growth Walker though, we need to be able to cast down that. Hey, what's up, Yun? Alright, hopefully we draw land and get to play Phoenix next turn. Cast down was definitely better than Coil there. Like incentivizing my opponent to play the Jade Light. Ugh. Hate the, the Divination Jade Light whenever, you know, it goes away. We want that thing to be like, would have been a 4-3. Can we find? Can we just find Angraths? <laughs> Start stealing these things. Uh, find finality. This is just find. Find is just going to be a huge problem if they have find. You know, like obviously I can cast down the Walker, kill the the Branch Walker, but they just have find and pick two of these things up. It's just just church. We draw a land here. You don't know what we need? We need we need two lands and then Angrath. We need a land for Phoenix, and then another land, and then an Angrath. So we go draw a land, play Phoenix, draw another land, play another Phoenix, and then draw Angrath. Okay, that's that's a start. Drew three, three of those. Okay, at least they didn't have a, a fourth explore creature. So they have finality here. We'll draw four cards. So we're not overextending into finality too much because of Reaper. <laughs> Who the hell plays Cry the Carnarium? Ugh. Phoenix can still take this home. Yeah, Phoenix. Phoenix has this. Time. Everyone is expendable. Put them down to one. That one life they just gained with the Golgari Queen. It was probably going to die. It's pretty crazy that we're going to. You know, well, maybe, but if we beat this. This is the best card in the format, like, against my deck. Just 
was so good against Judith and Midnight Reaper and all my little creatures. Please don't have another removal spell. Well, that's probably game. Now they get to Golgari Queen, kill the the thing, and we've just drawn some more lands here. No Angrats. I wanted the two lands. I wanted the fourth land and the fifth land, but not the sixth or the seventh. Evil creatures. They vanish all the time. Brutal. Brutal. All right, one and one. Yeah, they had everything. They had the Cry of the Carnarium, three, three Midnight Reapers, five Explore Creatures, the Golgari Queen. Ugh. Can't beat that. Contempt for good measure. At least there's no wild growth walker immediately here. Let's see if we can get lands this time. Hoping to get the land and be able to play Judith next turn. That'd be ideal. I'm gonna hold this instigator back to be able to block Branch Walker. Hey, Dirk. I'll take that trade. Hmm. That would be nice to be able to play this thing also. Not getting any easier. Not getting any easier. Hmm. 
Don't really have anything we can draw to keep us alive. We could not come back. All right, new plan. New plan, black red control. Not do anything without priest. Hmm. Now pirates are really good in this matchup. This can kill the explore creatures and everything. Yeah, the duress is kind of questionable, but these fine finalities and brassless contempts, everything, have been real problematic for us. Well, these are the cards that I want. We don't have any lands yet, but we'll see if we find lands later. We got our scry. Obviously, I would not be keeping this without a scry. Just draw lands, please. Light Ranger, you're so good. We didn't do anything with Orzhov Enforcer. I think I don't I don't remember if we cast it or not. We may have We may have cast it one time, but it was never, never important. Well, as we saw with those games, kind of the reason why, as I still say, Sultai is the best deck in the format. And they obviously that, that last game was just a, a throwaway game. But the other three that we lost, Sultai had everything they could ever ask for. It was always... Well, hopefully they don't have X card, and they had X card. And, like, what would be the worst card we could see here? Uh, would it would be a Contempt, will they have that? Or be a Finality, will they have that? Or be Wild Growth Walker plus Jade Light, will they have that? And... So we had, we had one game where we were really close to winning with the Phoenixes. Um, where our opponent just had enough removal where they had to have Contempt plus another removal spell, and they did. Um, besides that, 
I've played I've played Sultai a few times with this deck before and had been usually around 50-50. Our best hands, or like how, how we usually win that matchup is having Priest on turn two, and then Priest Priest just takes over the game if we have Priest on turn two. That was just never a thing that we had there. Uh, never had the Priest right away. The other other way, like basically our, our best cards are going to be, our four best cards in that matchup are Priest, Midnight Reaper, Phoenix, and Angrath. And we didn't get to really do a whole lot with any of them. I think we had Midnight Reaper one of the games. But, uh, you know, like, Phoenix is, like, a good good creature flying over Angrath. Um, just awesome if we ever play an Angrath kind of early, like, whenever the battlefield is even-ish. But Priest is, the, is what our deck is built around. And um, our most important card in, in that matchup to have, like, on on turn two like besides I, I tried something different there that that last game and obviously the last game was just a throwaway but i tried just playing all the removal spells um including like the ritual of soots also all the the discard for uh being able like having i wanted the duresses for their vivians and for their um especially for their contempts and have the duresses be able to protect phoenix and angrath and just went on like a, a phoenix angrath frenzy plan uh that last one which i i think actually probably could have worked out uh, obviously we just didn't draw lands and so it's just you know whatever but i think that plan could have could honestly work out a decent amount of the time i'm just turning into like a, a black red deck i think frenzy and grath and phoenix could um outpace the opponent especially with having ritual of sets in No, I don't like the Mardu version of the deck. Mardu, like white, while white adds some good pieces, the mana is horrible. And the the toughest matchups are already the, the aggro decks, the hyper aggro decks, like we talked about uh, before. And it makes it so much worse of having three colors and just having a deck full of shock lands. It's really tough to have a deck filled with one, two, and three mana spells and try to have it spread out between three colors and consistently hit your three different colors of mana in a low land count deck. I don't like it. The new Bitter Blossom Enchantment is not a good card. That that card is the most overrated card from the set so far. I don't I don't expect that card to see any play. Or very little play. But yeah, Priest is, is kind of like the card that we need there. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to move on for tonight, but I am going to go ahead and, and get back to this deck again soon. Just lost a couple matchups to Sultai. Yeah, you can clip that statement. That card's just not very good. It's just at the beginning of your upkeep, you just pay a life to put a counter on a 1-1 to make it a 2-2, and then pay a life to put a counter on it to make it a 3-3. That's not a very good card. Standard's gonna standard's filled with good cards, and that's not among like the best cards you can be having in standard. It's best possible the best possible case for that card is a sideboard card against control. That's like the the best possible case for that card and even then like these as per control decks are just playing mortify that they can destroy it pretty easily it's not like some permanent that's going to stick when we have a set that's filled with so many different planeswalkers i don't really know why you'd play that card over like a planeswalker if you just want a sideboard card for control yeah i think a mass is just a limited mechanic i don't i haven't to be fair i haven't really seen the cards recently, I only saw the cards in the first couple of days, but none of those amass cards uh, looked like constructed cards to me. Um, yeah, I guess it could be, yeah, maybe it's for, for modern. I don't know, though, but not really for standard. All right, so that's uh, Judith Priest, though. Uh, disappointing couple games against Sultai, but... So ties the best deck in the format, and when they have the hands that they had those first three, you know, not not really considering that fourth game, but when they had those kind of hands and draws and and uh, just 
very, very impactful cards every turn of every game, it's tough to win. And we didn't have our absolute best stuff with like Priest on two or Angrath on five, and we did not win. That's how magic goes. I don't think worse of the deck because we lost those games is basically what I'm, what I'm saying. Sultai is really good. All right, uh, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.